my father was a western rider exactly it's another kind of dressage that's yeah. the problem and and they have the sliding stops when they really stop hard so i i, I really like this this uh this power stops and and if they slide and i really like it maybe have it a bit in my blood <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool i i sorry i forgot to mention about your dad because i saw one documentary about your dad when he was in his um this hacienda that that you yeah. have and he was there with his two dogs and he's sitting yeah. in the barn and he's explaining about the western style and um how he's in the barn and he's you know rotating um there and the, the horse is following him so that was a very nice it was kind of like a very um a retro kind of a documentary i think probably yeah. from 80s or something like that yeah. but that was really nice so um your father is one of the pioneers of western uh writing right um, yeah. considered to be in the, in the US and as well as in the Europe. He was the first uh, man actually in the beginning who bring the quarter horses from the US to Europe. Before the quarter horses was not were not really uh, known in Europe. So he really mm -hmm. was in riding to Europe. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So you um yeah, probably maybe just now we're talking about him so you could share a bit about like how was your childhood like uh, I mean, I could imagine that like you grew with a lot of horses and dogs um in that uh, beautiful farm. So <laughs> how was it like uh for you growing up? Well, um yeah, it was a bit how you say. It was a big farm with a lot of horses. My father was a cowboy. He was a real cowboy like mm -hmm. have it in the Clint film. Eastwood, not like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> 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 he was just an actor. Your dad was a real guy. <laughs> he was a real one. He really he really lived this lifestyle. And my mother was from Egypt. I don't know if you if you exactly. hear Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely know about it. Yeah. Yeah, she was from Egypt and she raised up um, with Arabic horses and she did like racing horses mm -hmm. and in, in Egypt, but not professionally, just because she likes horses. And they started when they meet. They started to live in. Um, they wanted to live in Spain, in the south of Spain, Andalusia. That's where we have this big farm. We're going to talk about that later. Yeah. 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 And uh, in this farm, yeah. Well, we have. It's a hotel. We have a lot of clients. And when I was young, I I had immediately. I had my 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 horses, and I I always wanted to ride the big horses. I never wanted to have a pony. I always wanted to have a big stallion. Mm -hmm. And uh, my father learned me a lot about riding, my mother too. But my mother was, and here I come, I, I get again into this dressage things because you have this Western riding dressage and the Spanish one. My mother was the one who rided Spanish dressage okay. and my father the Western. All right. And I took from both. I still know how to ride Western, but I, for me, I found that the Spanish way is more elegant for a girl. And I really, okay. I, I saw it was for her when I saw her riding on this beautiful uh, horses with this round neck and elevated and this silky hair, yeah, so, elegant, so nice. And my 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 father was really a cowboy. He was like he was with the lasso and with everything working. And I've fast. seen him. Yeah, he really yeah, looks yeah. like one. <laughs> and exactly. so I I decided to do both in the beginning, but after I specialize more in the, in the, the in Spanish one, because yeah, that's, you think it's more feminine. Yeah. For me. Yes. Yes. All right. and <laughs> he's still living on the farm and he's doing the same as my daddy. He's doing the Western writing. So we, I think we, we managed to do both. One is doing the one part and the other one is doing the other part. So it's that's pretty cool.